Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get Flux-like functionality on iOS 9, including 9.0.2, the latest firmware as of recording this video, or even iOS 9.1, Apple's upcoming firmware release, and the best part is you don't need a jailbreak. <laughs> And quickly, before we get started here, if you guys want a chance to win a brand new iPhone 6S of your own for free, just be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on how to enter. Okay, so to start off, the app is called Goodnight, and I'm going to show you guys how to get it in just a second. It's not available on the App Store, and the only caveat is that you need a Mac. I'm going to get into all of the finer details toward the second part of this video, but first, let's actually take a look at Goodnight. So, when opening it up, you essentially have three main sections. You have temperature, which is the main one we're concerned about in this video. That's essentially the flux-like functionality. It modifies the color warmth of your display at night so that it's easier to view in low light or no light conditions. So as you can see here, when it's enabled, it kind of adds a red tint and it lowers the blue light exposure. Now, when we actually bring up the temperature, it will get significantly more red in hue. We're actually just going to bring it down. We also have an automatic color changing option that's not available yet. It will be coming in later later revisions of the Goodnight app. Now for the second option, we have brightness. This will essentially make it so that you can put your display brightness down beyond what the lowest setting is by adding multiple transparent layers. So again, it does virtually modify the brightness level of your device. So as you can see here, we're still at medium brightness pretty much, but it is actually darker. So let's go ahead and bring up control center so you guys can see we are at the same main brightness there. All right, so let's go ahead and toggle that one off. We have one last option here, and that's just colors. So you can modify the actual color of your device's display here as well. So as you can see, if you guys wanna mess around with that, you definitely can to kind of create your own flux-like effect there. So that's basically it. And on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, you may have already noticed it, I'm using a 3D touch there to actually bring up this menu because as of now, again, like I said, it does not have automatic color changing like flux does because flux modifies the temperature at sunset this one we have to manually do it so if you happen to have an iphone 6s or 6s plus like i do right here what you can do is you can actually 3d touch on the icon itself and you can quickly enable or disable it and then it will just close out of the application there as you can see all right and i just wanted to close out of good night here and show you guys that these settings do still persist even when the application's closed so again this is true flux like functionality Let's go ahead and just disable it now, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install it. Again, you do need a Mac for this because we need Xcode. We have to compile the project, sign it with an Apple ID, and send it to our devices. We do not need a developer account for this, however, but we do need a Mac because Xcode is exclusive to OS X. And the reason why we have to actually utilize this method to install it is because the developer simply published his project on GitHub. He isn't officially releasing it due to potential legal complications with with Flux themselves. So if you don't have a Mac, try to borrow a friend's or get access to it. We have to install something from the Mac App Store, so let's go ahead and take over on the computer from here. So open up the App Store, and what I want you guys to do is find Xcode. So you can just search for it, or you can navigate to it just within the top free charts here, and you need to download the latest version of Xcode. You're also going to need an Apple ID, so just a regular one like what you'd use to sign in into the App Store will do just fine. We do not need a developer account. If you don't have one, you can actually create one. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to quickly create an Apple ID to show you guys that again, this definitely is not a developer account. And for the final step here, it's asking us to input the letters. So let's go ahead and proceed with that. And we can go ahead and check our email here and confirm that we are indeed signing up. All right. So bringing Gmail over, let's verify. All right. So here we are verified brand new Apple ID. We just signed up for it. We're not going to do anything else, we can go ahead and minimize that. We already have Xcode, and now the final piece is just the GitHub project. Now, right now, this is actually set to private, and I have access to it. But down below in the more info, I'm going to have a post on best tech info, and that will have a direct link to the always up to date public version of this project. What you need to do is just navigate to it and then click on download zip. And once you have the zip downloaded, you're just going to open it up and you'll have this folder 
folder. It will just be the Goodnight Master file here. And once you open it, all you have to do is just double click on this Xcode project here. So as you can see, it's goodnight.xcodeproj. So you just have to double click on it and it will automatically open it inside of Xcode. Okay, so what we're going to do, I have the iPhone 6S here, not the Plus, this is just the regular 6S, is plug into our computer via a standard USB cable. And if it's the first time connecting to that specific computer or Mac in this case, obviously, then what you're going to have to do is launch up iTunes and you have to trust the connection between the device as well as the computer. And once that connection is established and once you're connected, you can close out of iTunes and return to Xcode. So I'm going to plug this specific iPhone in right now. All right, so let's go ahead and connect via USB. All right, great. So now that it's plugged in here on the computer, what you're going to have to do is just select it from the device over here on the left hand side toward the top if it doesn't automatically select it. So as you can see, we have Tanner's iPhone. We're not interested in any of the iOS simulators. And then you need to rename the bundle identifier. So if you don't see this screen, what you need to do is just navigate to the Goodnight target. So as you can see here inside of targets, we have Goodnight and we're actually going to go to the general tab here. And as you can see, we have a bundle identifier toward the top. The best thing to do is to rename this to whatever you want. Leave the com dot as well as the dot good night, but the middle part, you can make that anything. So let's just go ahead and make that ICU ID for the sake of this video. And what you're going to have to do from there is actually click on fix issue. Now, don't worry, this always comes up. So you need to click on fix issue. And then from there, it will ask you to add an Apple ID account if you don't already have one. Otherwise, you can select it from the team drop down. But since I'm assuming most of you don't already have Xcode, this is the way we're going to do it. So you're just going to click on add and then you're going to add in your Apple ID and I'm going to use the one that I just created. All right, so we're just going to click on add now. And as you can see, it has successfully added this account here. So we're going to close out of it and we're also going to hit cancel and we're just going to select it from this team here. So now we're just going to click fix issue again. Remember, this is the easiest way to do it. Just fix issue to add that Apple ID and then fix issue again once you've selected it. And we're going to click on choose to select this account and this development team. So we can just click on choose. Remember, we are not enrolled in a developer account and it just resolved the issue there. We have no more issues. We do not have the fix issue button. So we can actually click on the play button in the upper left hand corner here. Now, chances are good this process could take a while. So just wait, do not unplug it. As you can see, we have build succeeded there on the Mac and it also says that it could not launch due to security. That's perfectly fine, but we actually actually have it on our iPhone here. So we can click OK to that. And on the iPhone, we have the Goodnight app now. But we have one actual issue here. As you can see, it says that this is an untrusted developer. Well, we're going to have to actually trust this inside of the profiles section. So you need to go over and you need to launch settings. And now that we're inside of the settings app, go to general and you're going to have to scroll down a little bit until you get to profile toward the bottom there. And as you can see, we have this developer app ID now. We can simply tap on trust. So let's go ahead and get a close up of this. As you can see inside of the settings app, it confirms that good night is now verified. So we can swipe over and we can launch good night and now it works on iOS 9. This is also on iOS 9.0.2. So I really do hope you guys like this video. Unfortunately, this is just how you actually have to install it because it is not public. You have to compile it with Xcode, but overall I think it's pretty easy. Basically all you have to do is just download the required files and then keep clicking on fix issue. And you don't even have to set up a new developer account. I just did that so you guys knew 100% for certain that it wasn't a dev account and we were just using the latest version of Xcode to self sign the app. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you found the tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. And for those of you interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6S, all you have to do is just navigate to free apps fast inside of mobile Safari. And once you do sign up, the on-screen steps will actually guide you through that process. It's very easy. And then you can download any of the sponsored apps you see here in the main section for points. You can download one or more. It really doesn't matter. And you can actually even use those points to redeem some awesome prizes, including gift cards, as well as paid apps from 
Apple's App Store. But what you need to do for the giveaway is take the unique portion of the link that you see here inside of the fourth tab. So it appears after the equals symbol and posted in the comment section of this video. I will have it linked for you guys in the cards as well as the annotations. And it's really just that simple. And once you do that, you'll be automatically entered to win a brand new iPhone. That giveaway will actually conclude more toward the end of this month. So be sure to stay tuned for the finer details on that. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one covering various things ranging from iOS to jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.